All right, so now in this video, what we want to do is, uh, so we have a couple sets here given uh, in the listing method, and we want to express them using set builder notation or with the set builder method. Okay, so example two, write the set using the set builder method. So um, here, what do we have here for part A? So part A says uh, we have this set uh, with the listing method 22, 24, 26, dot, 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 56, 58. Okay, so what's going on here? Remember, uh, in case you missed the earlier videos, uh, these three dots here, what they mean is uh, continue the pattern. Okay, uh, continue what pattern? Continue the pattern established by the first three numbers here. Okay, so what's the pattern established? Well, hey, 22, 24, 26, uh, I'll bet you the next one's gonna be 28, and then 30, 32, 34, 36, and so on. Okay, so it looks like uh, we're listening on even numbers here, okay, so we're always increasing the number by two. So 22, and then two more, 24, two more, 26. So the next one, if we continue that pattern of uh, increasing by two, the next one will be 28, and then 30, 32, and so on. And that's gonna continue until we get to 56, and then 58, and then we stop. Okay, so how do we express that using uh, set builder notation? Okay, so we've seen a couple examples like this before, so what's going on here? Well, first of all, they're all even numbers. Okay, so let's start doing the set builder notation here. So remember, for set builder, we start with a curly brace, um, open curly brace here, and then a variable name, typical to use X. Then we can do a big old vertical bar, or we could do a colon. So x such that, um, so first of all, x is an even number. Okay, x is an even number. Okay, x is an even number. What is x between? Okay, it's uh, so um, we could say 21 and then 59. X is an even number between uh, 21 and 59. Okay, so notice what are we doing? We're listing out all of the even numbers between 21 and 59, okay? Because 22, that's the first even number after 21, okay? After the number 21, the first even one that appears is 22, okay? Now, um, we could say between 22 and 58, but that's kind of ambiguous, you know, do we mean, so if we say uh, even number between 22 and 58, does that include 22 and 58? I mean, we know it does, because we have the set here. But if we just uh, had this set builder notation without this up here, um, and if you know if somebody just hands you a set in set builder notation and they said x is an even number between 22 and 58, um, if they just handed you that, it wouldn't really be clear. You know, when you say between, do you mean including 22 and 58 or not? Um, so that's why if we say it like this with 21 and 59, uh, it's not ambiguous. It's pretty clear. You know, uh, that 22 is going to be the smallest even number there. Because 21 is not even, so it doesn't matter what kind of between we mean, whether it's inclusive or not, because it can't be inclusive, because 21 is not even, neither is 59, and uh, 20 is too small. 20 is not between 21 and 59. Likewise, 60 is too big. 60 is not between 21 and 59. Okay, so that's why it's safest just to say between 21 and 59, uh, all these even numbers here. Okay, so this is the answer for part A, um, x such that x is an even number between 21 and 59. Okay. And yeah, there are other ways we can answer that. Um, so if you wanted to say between 22 and 58, you could say uh, between 22 and 58, comma, then inclusive, so that it's clear that you include those guys. Okay. Or you could say between 20 and 60, uh, not inclusive. But it's, you know, it's, it's just writing too much, so we want to write as little as possible, really. Um, and again, we don't have to say X. We could say Y, Z, T, W, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc., etc. Yeah. So uh, anyway. Let's do part B now. So part B, uh, yeah, a little, little crazy here, right? So 22, 24, 26, dot, 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 and then uh, just keeps going like that. So again, these dots mean continue the pattern, see? So uh, continue the pattern. Okay, and again, what pattern is that? Well, it's actually the same pattern that we had in part A, really, just uh, 22, 24, 26. Um, so we're just uh, listing all the even numbers, increasing by two here. So the next one will be 28, then 30, then 32, 34, 36, and so on. But what's different here is in part A, we stopped at 56, 58. Okay, we stopped there. But in part B, um, there is no stopping point. Okay, we're just going on forever and ever. Okay, so uh, let's get rid of this here. So what, um, if we want to describe that in the set builder notation, okay, so notice um, here in listing method, these sets look pretty similar, right? But in set builder notation, what's going to be different here? Uh, so this is going to be... So let's, let's use a Z, just because we want to emphasize the point, it does not matter what we call the variable. So Z such that Z is uh, 
an even number uh, greater than 21. So, uh, so what do you see here? 22, 24, 26, continue the pattern forever and ever. Okay, so there's no stopping point here. So this just means continue the pattern forever because that's the last thing that we list here. So remember up here in part A, dot, 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 then two more numbers, so they stopped here. Okay, so the set just stopped. Um, but here, continue the pattern forever, there's no stopping point here. Okay, so uh, then we just say, these are all the even numbers greater than 21. Okay, because the first even number greater than 21 is 22. Okay, and then the next one is 24, 26, and then continue the pattern means 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, and so on and so forth, just forever and ever. Okay, so that's going to give you all of the even numbers that are larger than 21. Okay. So this one, uh, there are a few different ways we could have answered this. We could have said uh, uh, z such that z is an even number greater than 20. Okay, Because still the, first, uh, the smallest number in the set is going to be 22, right? So yeah, 20 is an even number but 20 is not greater than 20, so the first even number greater than 20 is 22, okay? So we could have said that, um, but you know, it's nice just to be safe really, or it really doesn't actually matter in this case, so we could say 21. Um, or we could have said, I'm not gonna write it because there's no room really, but uh, I don't wanna zoom out too much either, but we could have said z is an even number greater than or equal to 22, okay? We could have said greater than or equal to 22, but that's, it's correct, nothing, uh, absolutely nothing wrong with saying that, it's just writing more than we need to. So why not keep it simple and just say z is an even number uh, strictly greater than 21. Okay, greater than, strictly greater than, same thing. So, uh, and again, this covers all of the even numbers greater than 21. So that's 22, 24, 26. Continue the pattern forever and ever. Okay. So that's all the even numbers greater than 21. And in, again, in set builder notation, that's z or whatever, such that z, or whatever the variable is, uh, is an even number greater than 21. Okay, so that's two examples with um, converting from listing method to set builder notation or set builder method, whichever you want to call it. So that's uh, example two there, and here's our answers again.